I'm in a town called Wooddale. I'm on my way to uh, Oyama. I'm going to do a photo shoot there this afternoon. It's probably about 10.30, 11 o'clock. Actually, what time is it? I need to know. It's 10.39. That was a good guess. I'm on my way to Oyama. That's on the other side of this a lake that's over here. I'll show you that in a minute uh, after I have my breakfast. I've had my coffees at Starbucks and did all of my Wi-Fi type work, or at least all that I think I need to do. And um, now I'm going to drink some yogurt. It's a new habit of mine to uh, try to avoid heavy calories in the morning. And this is always oh, cold, so it's like drinking dessert. Hmm. This is peach yogurt. And it's good. It's like a, um, what do you call it? It's like a, a pudding, a dessert pudding. I mean, a breakfast pudding. Now I could add some green to this and it'd be something called muesli or whatever it's called. And it would make it a little healthier for me. But uh, I'm enjoying these things. It's, I've actually been having them for breakfast for about, oh, I don't know, maybe two weeks. And I've kind of enjoyed it a lot. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna take you down to the beach and show you this beach. Later on, I'll show you the, the road to the other side of this lake and the beach I'll be doing my photo shoot on. So, in the meantime, I'm going to have some yogurt. Maybe that was a bit much. <clears throat> I'm feeling a little bloated. But we're going to go down to the beach and I'll show you what we uh, what is here. This is a town called Woodsdale. And uh, given the size of the lake, this is a small park or it looks like a small park when I'm parked here <clears throat> there's not much parking that's why I think it's not too um, not too large anyway so I'm gonna turn the camera around give you a view of a beautiful grass area and go down to see what this beach looks like so I, I found a picnic table with nobody at it. I'm sure it'll be busy a little later on. It's only 11 o'clock in the morning, but the beach is pretty busy already. It's going to get a lot busier. But one of the reasons I came here is I wanted to see the other side of the beach because where I'm going today is exactly straight down there to the other side of the beach or the other side of the lake where there are some locations I can do some photo shoots. That's clearly not the kind of beach I need to be doing photo shoots on. Um, obviously, trying to do a photo shoot on a busy beach is hard to find backgrounds where there aren't kids. It's hard to actually communicate with the model because there are kids screaming. And um, most beaches are like that. So I'm going to take you around to the other side of the lake. This is a very populated area. Everybody's at the beach because it's very close to their home. They can walk to it. know you don't want to watch just straight driving video so I stopped to take a little bit of uh, drone video my original concept for this video was to take basically take you down this road show you what the road uh, looks like demonstrate how beautiful it is. It follows the lake all the way. This 
This is the western side of Wood Lake on a road that follows the lake shore called Palmawash Parkway. I think it used to be an old highway. I drive this route every day, so or almost every day, to do my photo shoots at the far end of the lake. So I've added a little, a few drone pieces, a few bits of drone footage that I took on the days following this particular trip. I still need a huge amount of practice to be able to do what I want to do with this drone. But uh, when I edit the clips that I created, it doesn't look too bad today. On a day like today, it's so bright, I can't see anything in my phone, it's just black. So I have to go and find a spot that is kind of shady so that I can see what I'm shooting in the camera. Basically, I can see what you see. So the problem is that I'm in the shade and then I come out into the sun and I can't see my drone. Then now I'm flying it all uh, based on the screen that I see, which scares the hell out of me because I'm never really sure how high I am versus the trees. On a good drone day, I can show you what the lake looks like, but it's not that simple. It's surprisingly hard for me based because I can't see anything and I lost my drone. I mean, I look up in the sky and I have no idea where it is. I've kind of been enjoying my drone, although it's been challenging, but my biggest frustration is that the gimbal constantly sticks. So I can be up there flying and not be able to shoot what I want. But this time, I managed to get some actual footage I can use, or, pot, you know, as, that's as good as it gets at the moment. And I managed to bring it down safely. I parked in Oyama underneath a big, oh, what do you call this, a uh, weeping willow. Beautiful big tree, shades me, gives me some shade for my truck a little later in the afternoon or my bus. Uh, but at the moment, I've got the bus parked right in the sun, pointing at the sun, putting some power in my batteries. So. I don't know if I, I mean, I'm not pleased with my video because I don't like driving videos, but if you've watched it this long, I'm going to give you a thumbs up. It's certainly a beautiful spot and anybody interested in ever visiting here will probably appreciate the video that I did produce, but I'm actually producing, I try to entertain and that's kind of difficult if there's too much driving. Anyway, I had fun playing around with my drone, scaring the heck out of me. I mean, it's a a lot of money to buy a drone and anytime I can't see it and I can't uh, be sure of what I'm doing I'm a little bit scared anyway so thumbs up for watching I hope you come back to watch another video or and to do that the easiest way is to subscribe please subscribe and uh, actually I think tomorrow I'm gonna make another video about my new subscribers anyway talk to you later <music>